Happy Sunday, y'all. It's Lippy. I didn't film today. We have spent today picking up, cleaning up from all the work we did yesterday. But I did manage to film some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all the clips that we did yesterday. And then we'll move back to inside here. But you're going to be surprised. I think I found out what was wrong. Nothing germinated, remember, but a few things. When I dumped those seed cells, it had the old burpee bricks that I've told y'all I've used for 10 years and the new seed starter because they said they couldn't carry the bricks no more where we've been looking. It's like night and day. That stuff in a bag, no matter how you water it, it's powder house dry. But instead of mixing them up, I just dumped them so we could actually get a visual. It is crazy. So I feel like, oh, it wasn't too late. We are, you know, coming into March, but I feel like my questions have been answered and I do believe it was the seed starter. But we shall see how those do. And there's 32 to each tray. I went with the smaller ones. Um, I believe I have 11 different variety tomatoes that I did pick. Uh, I did a couple of more peppers, even though you, you'll see in the clip where the peppers did fine. It was just that one tray. And that one tray was the first thing that I did with you guys a few weeks ago when I did those tomatoes, remember? The peppers should have been way behind. The herbs should have been behind. But the herbs did fine. The peppers did fine. The only thing I use that new burpee seed start because I throwed it on top, called myself mixing it, but I really didn't, was those tomatoes. So enjoy the clips, and I'll be back in about three minutes. <laughs> What? <laughs> we have the garden nice and clean and ready to start building the beds. So let's walk over here and see what we got going. Those few little carrots that survived, they're still alive, y'all. So we'll see. The garlic is doing great. The walking onions, doing good. And here's our onions. I did put miracle Grow to them yesterday. And what I did is I took and I trimmed all the tops to force the energy to the bulbs. They're doing really good. Here's the third bed. And this was the fourth bed. Remember when I took all them little small little onion starts? I didn't want to waste them. So we put them in this bed. Hey Mo, what are you doing in the garden? Sweeping. Oh, you're sweeping? Yeah. You're helping Mama keep it clean? Yeah. You're doing a great job. You don't see a mess, that's because we cleaned it all. 
I'm gonna show y'all out here. Y'all remember a week ago, we were working on that cedar tree. We've got it down. We got us a good burn pit. The blower's going, that's to try to get some heat up underneath there to start burning some of them leaves. We was able to lay down this tree. Now we're just gonna burn out the stump. We got a long ways to go, but every weekend we see progress. I found a home for Mr. Rooster and I took some of these four inch stakes and I staked him down. So now he's gonna keep the strawberries company. Now I will not be throwing this away. I'll just mix it in and throw it in the beds out in the garden. But if you can see closely, this was what was in the bag. It holds no moisture, no, ma no matter what you do. But if you look at this, that was some of the old starter seed mix from the blocks that I've had in that tote for a couple of years. And you can definitely see the difference. So I think where the problem was, was that seed starting mix. I restarted some more tomato seeds as I spoke on Friday, and I'm using a 36 tray, the smaller ones. These are the two that I had. Using the original seed start blocks that I was used to using. And here we have cayennes, some bell peppers, dahlias. We have lemon balm in here, some coleus. And they're all doing fantastic. Here are some more of the different bells. We have the California bells. We have the colored bells. Snacking. There's another coleus. Throughout is all the peppers. These three that you're looking at that's all that germinated in those 72 cells this last time. And we have another one here. And I went ahead and up-potted, even though that they were very small and fragile, I needed to clean out those trays. We have hide-and-seek happening. Mm-hmm. So, while the boys play hide and seek, uh, I'm not playing anymore. oh, you're not playing no more. Oh, you just gonna leave Cameron in his hiding spot? Yeah. Wow, Grayson, that's so mean. <laughs> that's so mean, Grayson. <laughs> we can't cut this out, y'all. I'm sorry I didn't film today, but I didn't leave y'all behind. Y'all know what's going on. Say hello, Cameron. Huh? Say hello to everybody. Hi. Grayson, say hey. so now you understand when I said I'm trying to wind down for Sunday. Yes, but we want to watch a couple of movies with the grand boys, have a good Sunday ah. supper, and enjoy our last night with them, ending a Mardi Gras vacay with them, and then they'll be going back to school. So, as always, y'all stay safe, stay well, God and God bless. bless. You heard it from Cameron, and God bless. See you on the next one.